Back in 1841, Box Tunnel proved that blasting can speed up tunneling, but is also deadly. Drive a tunnel nearly four kilometers below the River Mersey without blowing up their workers, tunnelers would have to embrace the power of the machine. At the end of the 19th century, Liverpool is one of the busiest cities in Britain, but many of its workers have a difficult commute. They have to cross the Mersey estuary by ferry. In 1877 alone, 26 million passengers take the slow boat from Birkenhead to Liverpool. What they need is a faster way across the Mersey. So in 1879, engineer Francis Fox and a crew of 700 men begin blasting a tunnel under the estuary. They're trying to blow a bloody great big hole, uh, and there's only a few feet of rock above them, and on top of that, you've got the Mersey estuary. So the blokes start getting a bit concerned about this, and in fact, Francis Fox, who's the chief engineer of the job, he comes down every night towards the end of the night shift just to check that the, everything's all right and the boys aren't getting sloppy. And uh, he comes back one day, and he's reported to have said, you know, that they're in a constant state of fear. Francis Fox's men believe that blasting under the Mersey is a recipe for disaster. The rock beneath the estuary is riddled with faults. The men fear that shockwaves from the explosions could rip open these faults and bring the Mersey crashing down on their heads. Francis Fox must keep up the pace of the work, but keep his men safe so he introduces them to a machine that can bore tunnels. The front of the machine has a huge rotating arm. This is fitted with sharp iron teeth. The teeth bite into the rock and rip out small chunks. As the machine pushes forward, the debris drops onto a conveyor belt and is carried out of the tunnel in railway tubs. To move the drill on, hydraulic jacks lift the top of the machine off the ground. The frame then slides forward and the cycle starts again. The boring machine does wonders for the Mersey Tunnel it can dig up to 60 meters a week. On the 1st of February, 1886, the Mersey Tunnel opens to the public and 36,000 people travel through it. To this day, it is the fastest way to get across the Mersey. Before the first passenger can travel through the Gotthard base tunnel, the builders need to excavate over 20 million tons of rock. For this Herculean task, the tunnel boring machine has had a bit of an upgrade. It's now as long as four football fields and has a cutter head that spans nearly 10 meters. This metal monster can munch its way through 40 meters of rock every day. On a good day, it can rip 6,000 tons of rock out of the mountain. And then, amazingly, it puts the rock straight back in. Nearly a quarter of the material carved from the mountain is recycled and turned into concrete. This is sprayed onto the tunnel walls to keep the tunnel open, or spread on the floor to prepare the bed for the train tracks. The tunnel boring machine is a gigantic rock-eating factory. At 
the front, the cutter blades scrape the rocks from the tunnel face. Buckets in the rim scoop up the spoil and funnel it onto a conveyor that takes it away for recycling. Behind the cutter head, mechanical arms bolt protective steel mesh to the tunnel walls. A robot then cements the mesh in place with shotcrete. Hydraulic feet shunt the machine forwards so it can keep up with the cutter head. Then workers lay a concrete bed for the railway track. At the end of this production line, the finished product emerges. This machine is the ultimate tunneling tool even when it comes up against some of the toughest rocks on the planet. We're now in a granite part of the tunnel, which is one of the hardest and most abrasive rocks. It will dig about 20 to 25 meters a day in this kind of rock, and it will take out three to 5,000 tons of rock every day. So tough is the rock that the crew must replace worn-out cutter discs every day to keep the machine going. Digging through granite is a war of attrition, but the tunnel boring machine at the Gotthard is winning. Without the tunnel boring machine, it would take up to 30 years to dig the tunnel, which would of course be impossible. 